Hey there, everybody. Uh, real quick, and I, I know this has probably already been talked about to death, but I, I, I wanted to talk about specifically uh, the tweet that a lot of people have been mentioning, specifically from Glad, uh, the harassment that he got. He doesn't deserve the harassment right off the bat. And I want to talk about more why the reaction was so strong to what he said. Let's dive right in. Okay, so his initial tweets were, and he's since apologized and said, let me start with his apology. His apology, he said, uh, he understands if he can't be supported by people anymore after tweeting this. He said, if you got a clear or attempted, uh, you are one of the people that put in the work. You put in the time, work, and dedication, and he is proud of you. Uh, prior to that, he had tweeted, uh, so I never really touched on this publicly yet, but the Deep Stone Crypt was a 9.5 out of 10 day one experience, but the difficulty felt off. It was easy to stay alive and didn't feel overly challenging from an underleveled perspective. It felt like it sh I feel it should have felt more endgame. I mean this with no disrespect at all. A day one emblem shouldn't be a handout. It's the most prestigious PvE content, PvE event in the game. It should reward preparation and hard work and time invested. When five to 6,000 teams get a day one clear and world first is six plus hours, something is off in my opinion. So, so that's his opinion. I don't agree with it. I still love Glad. Glad is one of my uh, favorite streamers to watch. And I think that's part of the reason the reaction was so strong to all of this. Basically, what he's saying is, in the initial tweets, and he's since corrected that, it, it feels like if you attempted it, uh, it was easy, so you should have been able to do it. That's sort of the only thing you can really take away from his original tweets or agree with him. And it's not just that Glad tweeted this stuff. A lot of people agree with him in the streaming community. And for me, somebody who attempted it and failed to get the day one emblem, that just makes you feel bad. Like it doesn't leave you with a good experience with the people that are talking about that stuff. Now, I do agree with one aspect of this tweet. I do agree that Yes, you should have to put in the work. You should have to prepare to go for worlds first. And it should be tough to get. I didn't get it. And it's been a bummer. And then to see my favorite streamers come out and say, yeah, it was too easy. <laughs> it doesn't feel good. And, and I think that's the, the root of, of the problem. But additionally, he's not only saying that the people who attempted it and didn't get it, or at least that's the way that it's, it was taken by a lot of people. He's not, he originally in those original tweets, which he said were poorly worded. And I'm being careful here because I want people to know that I st still respect Glad. I don't feel like he deserves the harassment that he's been getting. But I, I do want to talk about why I disagree with his opinion and why I think it was taken so negatively because I took it quite negatively. But I, did, I said one thing about it. I just said, this is, this is insane that the community is reacting this way. The community was, and many streamers were saying that the raid was too easy. So first of all, if you attempted it and you didn't complete it, basically that makes you feel like all the streamers that you watch and respect just don't have respect for you. They're just like, well, you know, you're bad and you should feel bad. That, that's sort of the takeaway that I bet a lot of people had. Um, but additionally, to pile on, the people who did attempt it and did complete it and got a day one emblem, it still detracts from that victory. And that's why those tweets hurt so much. Because if you did get it, well, this wasn't hard enough, so don't feel too good about yourself. And if you didn't get it, then you're extra bad because you didn't attempt it. I, I was incredibly glad to see that he said, if you got a clear attempted, you are that person. You put in the time, work, and dedication, and he's proud of you. That's what Glad said, right? Um, but the reason people reacted so negatively is because if you got a day one clear, you're, you can't really take away anything positive from his initial tweet. He's basically saying, well, it was it was too easy. And if you didn't get a day one clear, you, you feel bad because somebody like me who spent 20 hours in there, we got stuck on Atrix one for 12 hours or some insane amount of time where we just could not get it together as a team. And that's on us. So, like, I'm already dealing with the fact that everybody got this day one emblem. And then when all your favorite streamers come out and say, hey, <laughs> it was easy anyway. You should have gotten it. Our team is like our team should have gotten it. 
I don't know what happened. And I just continually run that through in my head. Why didn't it happen? And then the negative reaction is just, it stems from those feelings of why didn't I get it? Or you're feeling good about getting your day one clear. And then someone you admire and respect comes out and says, well, the raid was, raid was too easy. So let's talk, about, let's talk about that aspect of it. I absolutely disagree that the raid was too easy. Here's why people, I think, got the day one clear. First of all, this was the most prep time that we've ever had for a raid, and I feel like this has largely been echoed. We went from November 10th to November 21st. People who weren't even trying to be ready for 1230 contest mode were good to go. You just got blues and you were powered up and you're ready to go. If you were smart, you didn't even attempt the raid until about 12 hours in and you knew how to do everything. You could go in at the 12 hour mark and just clear it in a few hours as opposed to going for 20 straight like I did and uh, not succeeding because basically we made a decision as a team. We're going to go sleep for four hours. So I think we went 20 hours total that day. We slept for four. We cleared it and we cleared it as a team. I'm tremendously proud of my team for sticking with it, for, you know, helping me get through it. Um, and, and that's the long and the short of it. My concern is I, I don't want Bungie to see what Glad does and think that speaks for the rest of the community. I would say largely that most people are tremendously happy with the day one raid. By the way, the, the team that cleared it, I believe I, I've seen online Glad finish like 35th or something. So being able to complete the raid in six hours, that's not an issue to me. You still got to figure out all the puzzles. You're still going in blind. You're still competing for worlds first. And I love that competition. It's something that I love to watch and I love to be a part of. I don't know if I'm going to be able to going forward because I'm going to be a dad in like two months. But yeah, uh, and glad. I mean, if you ever see this, I I really like your content. I love watching you stomp bosses. It's it's really awesome. And this really hurt. This, yeah, just honestly, just seeing. Oh, what's glad tweeting about today? Oh, well, that doesn't leave me feeling good in any way. And I'll be honest with you guys. I I've been making these videos on my channel where I just collect all the lore and I put them out there and like not even a thousand people watch them right I could make videos like this I'm sure this video is is going to get a lot of views or at least like 10,000 views because I'm talking about community drama right but I do that because I love the game and honestly since that raid since running through not being able to get it and everything and then seeing that all the streamers well many of the streamers agree with his take uh, that it's just, it was too easy, and the fact that I didn't clear it, I'm just like, I don't know that I want to play this game anymore. And that is just such a bizarre feeling to be left with after playing for five years, and not everybody agrees with him, and I, I'm thankful to those who sort of pointed him out respectfully that, hey, like this is, this is a bad take. To so those of you that are harassing him, knock it off. It, it's it's not okay. And, and this is largely stream of consciousness. Um, the takeaway is I wanted to explain why I didn't like the tweet, why my takeaway was so sort of like, what? I don't understand. And why I think a lot of people felt that way. And so to recap, basically it's this tweet came out and it basically says if you attempted it and failed, you're largely left after reading this tweet feeling like you're not good enough. He's since corrected, but I think the damage was already done. If you did attempt a day one and you got the clear, you're still not good enough because it was too easy. So no one's really left with a feeling of accomplishment or any sort of good feeling after reading this. And I think that's why the reaction was so strong. But, but if you're holding on to that hatred, just, just don't. Just let it go. And... Uh, yeah. Anyway, this is something I really want to talk about. I feel like this is largely stream of consciousness, but I just kind of wanted to talk about it with you guys. What did you think about the tweet? Please don't harass Glad about it anymore. He's clearly 
you know, he's, he still believes what he believes. I disagree with him. And I think that's completely healthy and normal thing to do. We can all have different opinions and disagree about things respectfully. Um, but yeah, I would love to hear what you think. Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, this is Destin signing off.